What's up, guys? Not the winner. Back at it again. Um, yeah, guys, I've tried mostly every single build as of now. There's maybe like one or two I haven't tried yet. Um, so we're going to work on leveling this character a little bit more so that we can try the most recent patch changes. Uh, so with, you know what? Let's actually check other characters, see what other higher level mages we might have so we can test this a little sooner. That new one's going to be our best bet because obviously with all the deterrence to your hit chance as a mage, it is definitely one of those things where it's like, okay, if I'm going to... Here, let's actually look here. Not the mage is only 23. That's enough to take a look. Let's take a look. Hit chance is horrible on this character though because if we look, what are the stats? This was made many patches ago. So all I have is Intelligence, Vitality, and Stamina with very low Charisma and very low Attack. So I'm never going to be able to hit with any of my spells. Oh, dang. Did spell hit chance go up? Um, either way, doesn't matter. They uh, recently made a change where a lot of the higher level spells damage are going to be a lot more viable and also it's all scaling based on your intelligence in a much better way now so pretty excited to try this out 66 seems like a really high hit chance so we're going to swap over to that other level 16 character that we were going to be playing before and uh very very interested to see what the hit chance is on that one now because that was pretty hard uh high Let's see. So this character, 61% hit chance. 99 on, on the charisma ones, but 61 for those. Um, 18 charisma, 19 intelligence, and charisma is what bases your hit chance. So lower hit chance with higher charisma. Hmm. Okay. I do think if we get this one a couple more levels, we'll be in a really, really good spot. All right, so Clerg, is this the one that I've completed already and need to move on from? Yes, it is. So we're going to go to Kragenbach. And we only need to reach 18 here before we go to Car. but I like to get... Like, this character, we've been leveling a little bit more. <clears throat> Ooh, this is tough, I forget. Ignoring it is extra intelligence, right? Yeah, let's do that. Alrighty, so it's already night time. I'm not even close to 11. We don't want to take the training dummy because for sure we're going to uh, only gain the 10% there. Whereas here we can try and take on the level 22 priest, gain the maximum amount of XP before the day resets. And then check shops tomorrow. Let's see. Pretty low hit chance here, and the damage is only 20 now. That doesn't seem right. Because I've got, stat-wise, 22 intelligence. Come on. Maybe when it's around, like, 50 intelligence, it scales super high, but, it, like, anywhere between 1 and 30, it's kind of low. That's all right. The reason why we made the character the way that we did... There's three factors. We chose Bard, Mage, and Fey. Fey makes it so I can always use abilities uh, because I'm immune to the shock effects. Um, we obviously have the burps that we're hitting a lot more often, and we have a way to kill these guys during these early levels while the spells are a little bit harder to pull off. And, uh, you know, then we're swapping to a mage in the late game and going to have a super high chance to hit with the mage. So it's going to be pretty nice and fun. <clears throat> Catch him with the meaty bird. Taunt. 
You know what? It's fine. So he broke all his armor, and now he's rested. Really? I thought I'd have just enough essence. Could have gone for a power shot, but it's okay. There we go. So we get to take 25% of a level instead of 10%. Alright. Let's make some decisions here. Nothing new there. Can take five more levels to get those. Uh, we're definitely going to get better by then. I think by that change that he did, where there's like. There's a lot, there's going to be a lot more low level armor options for you, so you can afford stuff. I think that just lowered the chance of getting the high tier stuff at these low levels. I don't know for a fact yet, this is my first time checking the shop, don't quote me on that guys. Um, but, we're going to find out. I think I'll hold off on buying that. It's kind of like buying this one right now for the extra 14 armor, like... Yes, this arm is way higher, but that's in like six levels. No, thank you. Um, all right. Uh, he did mention the Enchantress. He is making it so that she does carry more runes and more of these blueprints. And guys, the reason why that was mentioned is because he says there will be use for it soon. Now, that soon could mean anything. It could mean months away. But I think he's saying, like, hey, like, this is one of the next things being added. So. <clears throat> so this is a level 12 blueprint that gives you plus two defense as well on an equipment. Kind of useful. The runes are very nice. I mean, at the price they're at, sure. And we'll take the plus two defense. We can have fun with the defense build with that. I'm liking these plus one stat ones as well, but like, I can push my way to level 12 and then make a decision about what armor I'm making. I'd rather just go like that, you know? Let's do top bottom. Where we'll kill all the strongest ones first and work our way down the list. So we got him with the stun, catch him with the burp. He moved back. I'm gonna. A. Big hit chance increase. He got his freeze. Uh, since it's a big hit chance increase, we're just going to go throw whatever AoEs we can. Might as well. They're low cost, you know. 59 is kind of low, I guess. It feels like everything went up in cost, so we're going to have to use a few points on that soon. Um, For the moment. Yeah, so we got all those AoEs hitting him. Still got a 100% chance to hit. So we're going to try and break helmet and kill. Yep, got it. Because his helmet was already red. His health was already below my max damage with that ability. So if we can break, then we're probably going to break through. And if not, boom. We're going to hit him with the damage over time. That's the ideal thing with the hit chance thing. It kind of makes you OP. Especially when those are level 3 or 4 spells and it's super high damage, super high damage over time, and many, many turns of damage over time. Like, getting the hit chance modifier so that they always hit is going to be brutal. 
So we broke helmet early, and that's an 81 damage attack for later, so uh, we don't really need to get a whole bunch more damage off at this point. That doesn't work. Okay. She's done. Next time uh, damage over time comes in play. Or not damage over time. The uh, taunt comes in play. But yeah, damage over time also. She dies now. Gee, jeez. Gee, jeez. And see, like, the combo of the two allows you to speed things up. If you can take off her helmet, or his helmet, whatever it may be in the case of whatever fight you're in, then, um... You can constantly use taunt on the head while casting damage over time. So the damage over time is direct damage to the user. So the initial hit hits like armor and shields, but then the dots themselves go direct. So 136 health isn't that tough to get through, even if they have thousands upon thousands of armor. Here, I'll show it again without using burp or power cord. It's a 55% hit chance, so I should hit one out of every two of these, meaning I should hit two out of four total. Um, that's not going to be the case. I'm sure I'm going to hit maybe one. There's one there, and then I'll probably still miss this. No? Okay, so I did get off the two. And then at this point, his helmet's already weak, and this taunt, so he's down to 19. So it's not going to kill him from the damage over time, but it got pretty darn close. And now any damage over time will kill him, or I have to wait for my next taunt. I'll use an Arya to go up, and then boom. Ninety-nine percent, of course. Um, you know what? Ninety-nine percent, you say? I uh, yeah. Look at all that health now. And look at that 1% chance to hit with spells, 30% chance to hit with Sonic. Like, you gave him all 32s in every single stat. And, yeah, you can't use skills, but, like... Oh, uh, wait, wait. Uh, now he's only got 32 vitality. It fixed itself after the first turn. I was going to say, like, that's not cool for anyone who's not prepared or strong enough for that fight. Like, jeez. Alright. Big level up here. So we have a couple options, guys. Clearly we have a very low hit point total. Another thing that we have to keep in mind, guys, is we don't have a ton of essence. Um... Yeah, we don't want to put points in stamina because the whole point is go high int intellect and high charisma. Uh, hit chance with Sonic isn't that bad currently anyways, so that's not really too much of a threat. And we really want to boost our charisma a lot more. Um, oh, that's such a tough call because I want the, the higher essence. Okay, yeah, so we're going to go intellect first and I'm actually going to go like four or five points in intellect and then swap back to charisma for like the next ten points. Uh, last point in that, so that we can unlock Wake the Dead and all that. And as far as it goes, the extra damage against Undead and Automations, cool. Probably gonna skip those, because it's not against everything. And I'll focus on increased crit chance by, uh, 15% by getting 5 points here. And then probably add the 3 points in either Acrobatics for the movement, or Serenity for the chance to ignore other Sonic attacks. Um, <clears throat> two days for the shop refresh. Helmet's broken, they're down to 30 health. They're taking damage over time already. One more dot in that game. Or another taunt, of course, which we're going for in one more turn. Alright, that's GG. <laughs> Are you not 
Yeah, see, the combo of this is going to grow really, really nicely. Yeah, I totally forgot about regional champions and moving to other cities. I was just uh, enjoying testing out combat with the recent changes. <laughs> His goals in this game. Focus. Uh, so the damage is 42 now. I thought it was 20 before. Um, maybe this guy's got less defenses. Maybe I added a couple more points to intellect and passed a new threshold. Not 100% sure what caused the big change there. Uh, but if we can get one to two dots, our damage is up to 88 for Sonic. Damn. Okay. So yeah, we just need one dot. In the next three turns. There's one dot, and uh, yeah, that's basically a guaranteed win for us. So I'm going to Aria up, he burns down, and I taunt. Yeah, GG. Yeah, this combo's getting uh, kind of ridiculous. <laughs> we were pretty OP before, before like we actually started incorporating the duo-ness of that. But man, we are brokenly OP in, in this scenario now. Oh no, my greatest weakness. Whatever will I do against the Hexapod? Well, I wanted to stun him in place and then hit him with melees, but I guess this works too. Um, hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Alright, we got off Necrotic and he's low. Oh, that's right. I mean, <laughs> he's got to wait one more turn. He can still use magic, but yeah. All right, so he's stunned in place. I'm gonna move backwards while he's stunned. He rested, so firebolt for sure. He's going to have to rest soon again since he's low on energy. Fool. That allows me to chill, stun him in place. He takes damage over time just like he would with any of the others. And my special ability is health regen. Woo. So not going to be super, super useful. But I do have him stunned in place for at least these turns. So I can do what I need to do. And he's going to have to rest soon. Yep. GG. So that was the biggest threat so far, only because he's immune to Sonic as well, so I can't even do my main combo. Uh, otherwise, not too much of a threat, as you guys saw. He did get a strong opening strike. I gotta give him credit there. He broke uh, some of my armor, took down a chunk of my health. That was pretty solid. Alright, so Taunt, he ignored it. That's uh, never a good sign. But then he got hit by the thing that had a way lower chance of hitting. Two times in a row. Alright, he's got to go for his finisher. And he didn't get it. Oh, he's still got a helmet on. I got I to gotta back up. I got to back up. Okay, he rested. I'm actually going to go for more damage over time then. He's faster than me. Taunt. There we go. That was scary, guys. That was scary. I do have pretty darn low health. Oh, man. And we're running Bard, so we have a guitar instead of a... Uh, what should we call it? Is it really still two days? Okay. Well, I'm already... Oh, no. Is it going to be a new day? Okay. I thought I messed up that close and skipped the chance to do the training. Okay. It didn't fix it, so... Um, hello? This is not good. 
I found it was going to fix itself. There we go. Once I taunt it, it fixes. So everyone else is dealing with this. Oh, man, that's rough. That's, this is going to be something that we got to report for sure. Uh, I'll, I'll do it post. I won't make sure we all sit there and watch me do it this time. That's freaking wild. All right. So we are going to need the extra essence, like I said. Then we're going to focus on the vitality aspect. Which is not what I said before, but I'm saying it now. And the nice thing is, like, late game, if we notice that we're 99% using spells, then we can still reroll the talents. So we're focusing on theatrics now to make sure we're getting all our hits and getting that chance to insta-kill with Sonic, but eventually we may just go pure arcane and just go damage, damage, damage. Alright. So we're level 18 now, which is what we need to consider going to the next zone, and that is the level of this zone. I'm going to say no to that. And that's only because level 19 is the lowest level enemy currently. If I'm 18, not a big deal. Uh, I might push 20 and then beat boss and then go to next town. That way I'm 21. Um, but I might also go 19, 20 and then move, right? We'll see. What well, floats my boat at the time. I'm just going to go break armor on this guy. He's got 400 armor left. Uh, a guaranteed hit chance over here. Only 30% on the left column. So I'm assuming he's got high charisma. Yep. And uh, since I have high intelligence and charisma, it's going to be unlikely he's going to hit me with most of his major abilities. So he's going to be kind of screwed most of the time. Let's hit an Arya because it's going to have to rest. Now I'm going to try for a spell. Boom, perfect. Big money. He's done. Even if I didn't do that, the freeze was going to catch him. Huge. Cool. Helmet break on the first one. One DOT is already up. Two DOT is already up. Hit chance massively increased. Let's go. That's exactly what we need. He's got a shield up, but it doesn't matter. So the third one hits. He can't use abilities now. This allows me to get another taunt off for the kill at 100% hit chance since we've gotten his health low enough from all the damage over time. Brutal. Just brutal, guys. <clears throat> and the damage of all that has gone higher thanks to all these intelligence levels, so... And we got 570 there as well. Big block by him, but he's also a low health guy, so I think we can have a little bit of fun on this. Alright, so two out of three hit hit. The first one... Did it? Hmm. Well, he died. Jeez. Jeez. Alright, jeez. <laughs> That's why I need more health. I got the same amount of health as that guy, and he went down like he was nothing. Alright, let's see. Big stun. Oh, it's because those were crits. Okay. I'm like, why is the damage so high? That's huge. You know what? I, oh, I thought it was showing me which one. Yeah, okay. Never mind. All 
Oh, he's done. I can rest it up if I want. So this only puts me to 95 instead of 85, so it's not necessary, like, in the slightest. Uh, but it makes it easier if you want to grab your next level from a training dummy instead of from an actual fight where you can die. Because now I can rest for the night. There'd be new stuff in the shops. I can check all the shops casually and then go fight a training dummy for a level up. I do wish you could trade items to your other accounts. Well, yeah, I'll take a cape with armor and a stat. Sure. Enchantress. Let's see. Poison damage. Frost, fire, and frost. I don't know how these runes are going to work, but this character might actually want to have some runes. Blueprints, level threes, all plus ones, and plus one luck of the gods, Charlie's blueprint, rare level nine. I gotta pick this up, because it's Charlie's blueprint, which is making me think moist critical, right? And it's plus one luck of the gods, like, come on. All right, let's go training. Okay. Big miss. Big miss. Big miss. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. There it goes. That's the one we needed. See, now we got plenty of essence as well. Obviously, once we're using level 4s, we're going to need more essence, but we're going to have way more intelligence by that time. So that'll help cover it. Boom. Alright. Snag this level up. Gonna go ahead and get two more points in vitality. I know that won't do a whole lot, but I think it'll be helpful. Yeah, up to 150. And then I'm gonna try and focus back down on charisma, being only at 150 still. Oof, that's scary. Yeah, let's get one more level. This level wasn't bad at all. Good start. Interesting. That 17 damage over time was nasty. So, so like I get the base damage and then it's just like that 22 on that one. Jeez. I feel bad. I was going to say, if that doesn't kill him, he's about to rest and get blasted.
Oof. Big counter. Oh, that's right, he's Fey. I'm not even paying attention. <laughs> Should have taunted there instead of using that ability. That way I could continue to have taunt reset its cooldown after breaking the helmet. Now I'm going to have to wait a couple turns unless I go for medium shots and hope one hits head. There we go. Shoulder guard got broken and we finished it through the arms. Interesting. We're just gonna go Sonic Break. They all failed, okay. One chill into another uh, Helmet Break here. Big. And we got a big hit chance increase. Yes, we ran ourselves out, but uh, so did he for that one. And then we could go for a big fireball to the face. We could go for a taunt, easy kill. And we'll go taunt, easy kill. Let's see what this guy's got. The tall, lanky guy. What can he do? He can get taunted. He's got a decent amount of armor. I'm not going to try and mess with that. So he's taking 9 over time. We'll take that to start into a taunt. Yeah. GG's. <laughs> I actually got pretty close there. 81. Quick snag on this guy. Yeah, stats are basically double your level on every category when it's just supposed to be vitality. It's kind of great. Oh, 84 Grievous Wounds. Fifty-six. Need a taunt to land to really get the ball moving now. <clears throat> there we go. Finish him. Alright, so two days for the shops. I feel like this one's not fair. Because he didn't start with the helmet, right? Because his head's too big. Okay, shop should have new items now. Let's go ahead and focus on our charisma, get our magic chance to hit up. And also our damage for our sonic abilities, so that'll be nice too. Uh, Weaponsmith, what do you have for me today? 
a blue knife with plus three attack and plus two stamina. That's actually pretty darn good. The damage is low on it, but overall, like, that's a pretty cool one. And a blue machete with 32 damage, two-hander, plus two charisma, plus one fire protection. That damage on that thing is absolutely insane. I would love that for another character, but... I guess that's that. Uh, armorer. So this guy's got a Braxine shield of grifting. I can't use shields. And a rugged cape for vitality instead of stamina. Interesting. Yeah, okay. So, let's fight the boss. See what this champ's got. Cool. We hit on our 65% chance. Seems like most of his armor is from his helmet. Let's try our luck on a couple spells, but we'll swap back to pure Sonic, worst case. Cool, we did get one off. Nice. We'll definitely take that. Free taunt to the face there. Majority of his shields are gone. We're power cording to break it all away. I take half damage now. His health is low enough where I don't have to worry. He got stunned. Arya up. He got double stunned. One more turn till I get off the spell I need. And, um... Ooh, big ignore. But we can just use any spell now. Champion down. Alrighty, so let's obviously grab Charisma. We don't really need stars or money, and the helmet I'm sure is cool, but let's go ahead and grab some money. Because we can. And we're now level 21, that level that we were looking for before, for that uh, gear piece that we didn't buy. I feel like it's time for another Doom Trek attempt. Oh, this is just the first one. Ooh, guys, yeah. Uh, I might be a little over leveled for the first one. Is he level 15? Or is he 20? Level 15. Yeah, I'm six levels above him, so I'm only going to get half XP, I think. That sucks. I should have done this one before the other boss. You know what? We'll relaunch, save ourselves the day. Let's see how that goes one more time. Oh, I didn't mean to watch that. Whatever. Yeah, I don't have any health and I barely have any armor. So I, I, I kind of get why things are happening. Ninety-two percent chance, and he breaks it. 
I saw some malarkey there that I didn't really agree with. <laughs> Alright, first things first, let's buy some better armor. If our armor can survive even one hit, then we win that fight, really. So, armor, buy. Braxian chestplate, done. The helmet, I'm out at, at, like, too low of a level for it. Oh, so I'm using 20 for the Fort Tongue. Okay. Yeah, I probably could have gone with the 200. Everything gives stats. <laughs> we'll try and make that work. Make sure that my skills didn't actually change. Still good there. And before I take that on, let's head elsewhere. Alright, uh, if we pick a wrong choice here, that's troublesome. Of course I'd roll a 1. Not willing to lose stats over that. That's 2 defense. Screw that. If you fix the leaving the game thing, then, you know, <laughs> kind of screwed, but whatever. Alright, cool. So we're going to head over to Karkan. Let's see what adventure we get today. We will uh, deceive the demon. Get this terrible scepter. Hmm. All right, so from Karkan. Let's make it till morning. Actually, just going to go for it. Okay, we got a big stun to start. So he broke my breastplate. I've broken all of his armor. I'm frozen in place. Big crit. And GG. Yeah, that was definitely needed. But only half a level, so brutal. We'll grab the captain's hat.
one more day for new items and we're just we just made it to this new area so look at what they got real quick add to my agility if i want charisma instead of intellect if i choose it's considering it's much higher defense probably See, all level one again. Uh, thuggish, plus two strength. Sure. Dun, 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 dun. All right, so we need half a level. We're going to gain that here real quick. Hmm. That's big for him. I mean, he's definitely low, but I'm just trying to push him a little bit first. Almost all his armor's broken. He's resting any moment now. Continue breaking. And now he's going to rest. All my damage taken is halved. He rests, so let's go ahead and just finish him. Nice helmet broke. He's got pretty high armor, so I'm just going to break his health down a little. At this point, I've won. Yo. Not bad. So another level up there brings us in a bit closer. Let's go ahead and add it to the charisma. Alright, so now we gotta choose where our next three go, whether it's acrobatics or for the resistance against those. So we're gonna take a quick glance at something. So looking over here... We have 53 base hit, base crit 15%, melee defensive parry 63%, range 48, magic 78, and sonic 79. 
So both of those are touching on 80 at this point. I kind of don't want to add the extra dodge for those because I'm just going to continuously get them higher. Yeah. So we'll probably go for the acrobatics for the movement then. And we just hit level 22. So let's make sure we take out this boss before we pass it too much. We'll break. We'll just straight break. Helmet gone. Big stun. Aria to make sure we're good to go. And then we're going to roll up into the burp. And final... Oh! He died. I was going to say, finally taunt, but it looks like we got that crit kill. Nice. Plus two charisma. We're definitely taking that. Let's go ahead and take our new helmet. Quickly head on into town. So, plus three strength, plus one bow mastery. We really don't use strength, and it's only going to increase the cost of our basic attacks. Um, I'm not getting it. As much as the armor boost is good. So that's about it for that shop. Weaponsmith, how you doing? Nothing new. Slightly be better guitar. I mean, the damage is nice, but if it doesn't have an ability, right? Alright. So our charisma is starting to look a little nicely past that. Uh, we do need more hit chance with magic. That's one of the biggest things that we're looking for right now. So let's keep on pushing it. And that's also going to help my defense. So, against Sonic. Or, yeah, yeah. Oh, black screen. Well, that's the perfect time anyhow. If you guys enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Check out my other content. And, as always, guys. Thanks for watching.